There are going to be times when you want to combine shapes, sort of make them into more complex paths and circles and squares. And there are some tools in Fireworks that will allow you to do that. To get yourself started, open up the 05 underscore combine.png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see two circles and a square. And you'll notice that the green circle is in the top layer or the top sub layer. The red circle is under the green circle and the blue square is under the two circles. Now, this is important that you understand this layering order. Now, if you want to combine these two shapes, sort of make that kind of a logo, what you would do is you select the two shapes just like that. And in the modify menu, there are some path commands that you can use. The first one, of course, is join. And what that will do is combine the two paths and take the upper path and fill both shapes or the resulting shape with the color. Undo, Command or Control Z. The second set of choices available to you and the combined paths are union. So how would they unite? Well, you can see that they both come together and pick up the red color, which is the lower layer. Okay, well, undo that, Command or Control Z. You can also come to Punch. Now, Punch is uh, kind of an interesting concept because if you, where one shape overlaps the other, it will punch out a hole. So there you go. So you can make the moon shape here, Command or Control Z to undo. Now, here's another way you can use Punch. Just pull one of the circles down on top of the uh, square with the shift key held down, select the circle and the square, modify, combine paths, punch, and you've poked a hole in the square. And if I take the red layer, I'll take this composite path, that's what it names them, and put it above the red layer, you can see when I move it over, I can see through it. Okay, we're going to undo that. So I'll just get back to where I was. Just keep hitting undo, command or control Z. And then... Put these back up beside each other. You can also convert paths to marquees. Now this is where a path, instead of becoming an art object, becomes a selection. And all you got to do is just select your object and it will ask you how it wants to handle the edge. You get a hard edge, very strong, strong edge, an anti-aliased edge with a little bit of a blend. And then of course there's the feather edge. And if I click OK, there you go. They've been turned into selections. Undo that. So as you can see, there's a lot of choice available to you in working with objects and paths. What it takes is a little bit of practice and asking yourself, what do I want to do? And then going ahead and using the modify menu, combine paths to basically achieve your goals.